Hey guys, welcome to another Unity C Sharp tutorial. My name is Raja, and in the last video we have learned about tags. Okay, so in this video we're gonna uh, we're gonna take a look at an application of the tag, uh, and we're gonna learn how we can detect collisions between game objects. This is gonna be super useful in your game development. So let's get started. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create 3D object quad. And as you can see, we have a quad here. Now, in the quad, you will see a mesh collider attached. We're just gonna select and remove component. So we don't wanna we don't want the mesh collider to be attached to this game object because uh, since it's a 2D game, so we want a 2D thing to be attached here. So we're gonna write add component physics 2D box collider 2D. Now a box collider 2D has been attached to it. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a rigid body to it. So again add component physics 2D rigid body 2D. If I run this game now, as you can see it just falls down because of the gravity. As you can see here it has a gravity scale because we have added rigid body 2D so that is why it is falling down. Now we're gonna create another quad. So I'm gonna select this quad and right click and click on duplicate and I'm gonna move this quad down and then I'm going to select this scale tool right here and I'm going to scale it up a bit and since we have duplicated it from this quad so it already has a box collider 2D and a rigid body 2D attached now if we run this game as you can see both of the cubes goes, goes down but we don't want this cube to fall down we want this cube to stay still and we want this cube to fall down and when both of them collides we want one of them to destroy Okay, so just select this cube and from the rigid body 2D select is kinematic. Is kinematic means this is kinematic and this will not be not be affected by the external physics forces. That means it will not actually move. It will stay kinematic. Now if we run this game, now you can see that it doesn't move. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to select this quad. We're going to select this quad here. And we're gonna add a tag named quad to it. So we're gonna select tag, and from here we're gonna add a tag named quad. Okay? And the same way we're gonna select this one, and from here we're gonna add a tag, and from here we're gonna add a tag named whatever you name it. I'm gonna name it Raja. And then again we're gonna select this, and from the tag we're gonna name it, we're gonna tag it Raja. So now uh, both of these quads has a tag, this quad has a tag quad and this has a tag Raja. Now we're gonna uh, add our test script to this above quad. We're gonna add the test script to the above quad. So go to select that and go to add component scripts and test. Now inside the test, okay, I'm gonna delete these codes. I'm sorry for that and this one too okay so inside this code I'm gonna write something so by which we can actually detect collisions now in order to detect collisions we have a special functions which is called a special function which is called void on on collision enter 2d and inside that function as a parameter we have to pass collision 2d and you can name the variable whatever you want I'm gonna name it call and then just the body of the function now since it's a 2d game so here we want to check the collisions and that is why we are using the function on collision enter 2d and here we are using collision 2d but if you are working in a 3d game just remove this 2d components okay in a 3d game we use the function on collision enter and here we write collision not 2d okay so with that being said whenever uh, now this test script uh, this test script is attached to this quad right here and inside this quad inside this script we are writing on collision enter 2d function now this function will get called whenever this quad will have a collision with any other game object okay so whenever 
it gets collided with any other game object, this function gets called. Inside it, let us write debug.log, uh, let's say collision, so that we can see in the console window whenever a collision occurs. So if I run this game now, as you can see, it gets collided and here we see collision. So our function is working. Now what you want to do whenever this game object gets collided with this one, then we want to check if it has a tag Raja and then we're going to destroy this object. Okay, so in order to do that, inside here, we're going to select, we're going to write if call.gameObject.tag equals with goals we write Raja and if it has collided with an object which has a tag Raja attached to it then we're gonna destroy call dot game object now here's the thing if I write call dot game object call is this object with which the collision has occurred not the game object with which the script has attached okay so if we want to destroy this game object with which collision has occurred, then we have to write call.gameObject. And if we want to destroy this game object itself, then we have to write only game object. Okay? So first of all, we're going to test with call.gameObject. So let's save it and if I run it right now, as you can see, it fails down and this thing gets destroyed. Since it has a tag Raja attached to it, and here we are checking if the collided object has a tag Raja, then you're going to destroy that. Now, instead of destroying this thing, we're going to destroy this thing itself. So, in order to do that, instead of writing call the game object, we just simply write game object. That means with which the script is attached, that object itself is going to destroy it. So, now if I run it, now as you can see, 3, 2, 1, boom, and this thing itself gets destroyed. So this is it for this video. I think you guys find it helpful. It's going to be very, 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 very useful for most of the tasks you do. And I already created this tutorial a few hours ago and uh, there was a problem of audio. So that is why I'm re-uploading this. Uh, some people complained that there was a problem with the audio. So thank you guys for watching and uh, make sure to check out the next videos because a lot of things are coming in the next videos. So thank you guys for watching and have a great day. See you in the next video.